Welcome to the Week in Review for the week of 22nd to 26th of July, 2024. Week on week, the main stock market indices were negative, with the S&P 500 losing 0.8% and the NASDAQ 100 down by 2.5%. The Russell 2000 was up by 3.4%. The beginning of the week was negative, but on Thursday and Friday, many stocks started recovering. The price of gold is only slightly lower, 0.5%, and is around $2,380 per ounce. The next support is at around $2,300, but if gold breaks this level, it could fall until approximately $2,150. Silver dropped 4.4% for the week, but is still holding above the $28 level, which should be short-term support for the metal. The barrel of WTI fell 2.8% and sits around $76 per barrel. It is close to the $75 support level. WTI has been trading on a range that is narrowing. Thus, during August, we might see a bigger move either to the upside, above 82, or to the downside, below 75. Bitcoin fell 1.3% and is around $67,300. Bitcoin seems to be on a downward trend, with the next supports around $60,000 and $53,000. The relative strength of the US dollar, DXY, is unchanged and has been in the range of 103 to 107 since April 2024. Financial conditions, NFCI data has not been updated this week. June USM2 money supply was up by 0.3%. U.S. bond yields are down for the week and now sit at 4.39% for the 2-year and 4.19% for the 10-year. Although the yield curve is still inverted, the short-term rates are starting to fall faster, which can lead to the uninversion of the curve, usually associated with the beginning of a recession and a market downturn. Comment section. The main U.S. stock market indices may have finished a small correction and have shown some signs of recovery on Friday. The continuing upward move on the Russell corroborates that some money has been flowing into more value-oriented stocks. Next week will be rich in terms of earnings calls, namely Apple, Microsoft, Meta, Amazon, ExxonMobil, Procter & Gamble, AMD, and many others. If earnings miss or the language used is very cautionary, the correction may continue. Furthermore, on Wednesday, the 31st of July, we have the U.S. Federal Reserve meeting, with the interest rate decision and the press conference which may lean a future Fed action regarding short-term interest rates. Now, the market is expecting a rate cut in September, so let's see what Jerome Powell says to the press. Expect a very volatile week, which can determine the direction of the markets over the summer. Subscribe for the next week's Week in Review. Take care and good luck.